Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to another freaking podcast. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a perfect Friday so far. Whether you're going, wait, are they in school? They're not in school, right? No, they're not in school yet. So, whether you're going to work, whether you just woke up and are chilling in bed, or you, your mom has you cleaning on a beautiful Friday morning, I hope it is going well for you. Guys, let's hit that subscribe button. The goal here is to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're like 3,000 away. So I think that's possible. That's reasonable. Uh, si son más, pues no me enojo. But yeah, guys, welcome back. Um, today we can be a little bit louder, a little bit more enthusiastic because Franco is with Gma. Yep, Franco turned six months on Wednesday. So he's an older baby now and he's also like going to start eating food now and everything. So he can stay longer with my mom and away from the boob. Yeah, he's already been eating, you know, he's been munching on things here and there, but officially, officially, he can start eating according to the pediatrician. Yep, she told us baby led weaning is the best thing to do for our baby, so that's what we're going to do. He's going to eat what we eat, and I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited, so... Yeah, we're probably going to be updating you guys on how he eats and all of that on our other channels. If you don't follow J&J Vlogs and my channel, Blanca J, go subscribe to get all the baby updates over there, too. But, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, guys, anyways, um, is there anything you want to talk about specifically? Baby? Yes, I was going to talk to them. I forgot why I didn't talk about this last podcast. But, guys, something super crazy happened the other day. Remember I was telling you about the day I pumped seven ounces? Exact. Oh, yeah. So, I want to talk to you guys about that because it's, like, crazy how God works in, like, the weirdest ways. Um, I think it was, like, two weeks ago. Um, we had just gone home from the gym. We were with my mom, and then I was like, oh, my boobs are a little hard, and Franco was napping, so I was like, I'm, I think I'm just going to pump, you know, maybe mm -hmm. build up my freezer stash, let's see how much I can get out, and usually when I pump, I get like two ounces on each boob, so it equals to four ounces, which is what Franco usually drinks, so I was like, yeah, I mean, if I get two ounces, that would be great, so I was just sitting there editing and pumping, and then I realized that, um, oh, it was crazy because I only, only pumping on one boob because my other pump um, broke. And then I had like a little milk catcher on the other boob. So I was just whatever doing my thing. And then all of a sudden I start feeling like really full. And I look and the thing was literally full, like almost a whole seven ounces full, which I was like, I never pump seven ounces, especially not from just one boob, right? So I was super crazy. I like pulled it out. So with one, with my... Um, the pump and then with my letdown catcher i had exactly seven ounces of milk which is crazy because i never yeah. pumped that ever never. ever so i was like that's crazy like whatever i'm gonna build my freezer stash a little bit so then literally like i would say an hour later exactly an hour later one of our um family friends messages me on instagram and she's like hey um I know I like I would never ask for a favor if I didn't really need it, but I was wondering if you would be willing to lend me some of your breast milk, like if you have any in the freezer, or if you could pump any extra for my baby because she's getting an MRI tomorrow or the, in two days. And if she drinks formula, she can eat up to eight hours before the MRI. But if she drinks breast milk, she can eat up to three hours before. And she's like, I don't want to torture her and like have her only eight hours before because I think she's... um exclusively on formula and i was like oh yeah i was like oh my god of course like i would love nothing more than to give you some of my milk how much do you need and she's like oh i need exactly seven ounces i was like what the heck like i literally just an hour ago pumped exactly seven ounces and now you're asking me to give you seven ounces of milk mm -hmm. so i was like god is so crazy so obviously i bagged the milk put it in the freezer and i was like yeah you can come pick it up whenever you want so we donated seven ounces of milk, which was so like mind blowing because I, you know, that's just yeah. crazy how God works in the that's weirdest cool. ways. You never feel like that. You're you're never like, oh, I have to pump my boobs. They hurt. Ne yeah, my boobs never get full anymore. Like my milk supply is pretty much regulated to whatever Franco eats. So they, they haven't gotten engorged or full in a long time. And the fact that that day, like a random ass day out of the week. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to pump to see. Because usually I just, I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to feed him because he... Um, so you can like make my boobs go soft but no this time i was like yeah i'm just gonna pump whatever so exactly seven ounces and then an hour later i need to donate seven ounces 
That's so crazy. That was so like it was a mind blowing moment in my life, and I felt so like accomplished and like so like wow, your body and God and everything is just crazy. So yeah, wow, guys, babe. I wanted to start off with that little story time because I just wanted you guys to know that God works in the weirdest ways. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, he sure does. He sure does. And it, the, I think, it, like, I don't know. It's just weird because I already had freezer stash. Like, I have a couple, like, f- probably four bags of milk frozen. But the fact that that day I pumped seven ounces, you know, that was crazy. But, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> it was really nice. It was a nice feeling. Yeah, I bet. I wish I could, you know, pump stuff out of my body to help other people. But <laughs> I can't. Yeah, guys, and it's so funny because people are like, oh, like, because I put it on Instagram, I was like, I just pumped this much milk, which never happens, and they're like, oh, don't get discouraged, girl, like, you're only supposed to pump two ounces, I was like, I wasn't, like, I don't care, because I don't feed the freezer, you know, like, I don't pump usually, unless we're away from Franco, but, yeah, that was just a random thing, and a really cool thing that happened in two, two weeks ago, I don't know why I didn't say it last week, yeah, I forgot, but yeah. That was amazing. Anyways, yeah. What? Do you Anyways, want to tell I'm them story time? I'm excited to compare uh, heats here soon. Um, Dallas, Texas heat was something out of this world, babe. <laughs> I cannot explain why it was so hot. And a lot of people, like, don't understand that, like, um, it, when I posted, like, oh, I just ran from the stadium to the hotel in 98-degree weather. Like, we have 100-degree weather here, too, guys. I wasn't surprised about the 98. I was surprised at the 98 that it was 11 at night and it yeah. was 98, you know? Yeah, usually in Colorado. Or some other person was, like, it was 91, and it was, like, yeah, like, it's pretty common here, hundreds every day. I'm, like, I'm not surprised that it's 91. We get in hundreds, like I said. It was 91 at 1 in the morning. Yeah. That's what I'm crazy about, you know? Like, even in the summer, even in the peak of summer, guys, aquí in Colorado, at night, in the madrugada, it goes down all the way to the 60s, even 50s sometimes. So, for you guys to be in the 90s still at 3 in the morning, like, you can't get no break. And, I don't know, Dallas, he was something else. Like, um, people were like, well, aren't you used to, like, Phoenix? You've, you've experienced Phoenix, Phoenix heat before. But we went, what, April? No, we went in July of last year, and we were dying. July? Yes. No, but we went for like two days. I know, and we were still dying. Remember, we it was inside. like 8 p.m. and you were walking, you were pissed because you were starving and you even got No, a but beer. that was starving. I want to experience like a good outing and see if I'm... Because remember when we were at the Aguilar's, it was like 9 and that shit was still hot. Yeah. But we were still dancing and having fun outside and, yeah, true. and bailando and conviviendo. But in Dallas, I could not have done that. But, I mean, you were running. So, if you were running. I was dancing outside. True. I was sweating at all from every pore in my body. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited because I feel like I was talking to Gabe. I feel like Arizona, it's hot, but it comes from the ground. You know? Como que no cala tanto el sol compared to Colorado. Como since we're higher up, I feel like the sun freaking stings and burns. And me vuelvo prietito vibes lo luego. And then, but in Arizona, it's just like. It's down. Like, I feel it here because of the asphalt, if that makes sense. Maybe you guys are literally in hell, and <laughs> and that's where the f- hotness comes from. I don't know. Arizona is freaking hot, and I'm not excited to experience the heat. But usually when we go, so we did go for two days last year, and this year we're going for two days as well. So I think we're going to be in the AC mostly, and then we're yeah. probably going to head out and, like, eat or something at, like, 8 p.m. when everything goes or everything gets a little bit cooler. But I texted Gabby the other day. I was like, is it cooling down or what? She's like, well, why would I lie to you? It's literally 98 degrees. And it was like 9 p.m. I was like, oh, my God, it's going to be. I mean, we're really not going to experience it. And we really don't have to. But when we probably won't because we're doing obviously what's best for, Bran- for Franco. Because he's yeah. he, guys, he literally came out just like Jonathan. He gets hot super easy. His feet and his hands sweat <laughs> just like his dad. So, yeah, we're probably not going to be out of the AC as much in Arizona. Yeah, but I'm, I feel sorry for you guys that live there. like, Because to you, it's like, oh, my God, Arizona is the best state. We're used to it. But like, if you knew like other climates, you would be so much happier. I feel like. Literally, guys, here in Colorado, usually we're out of the house by like 8.30 in the morning. And it's still chilly. It's like around 65 degrees, would you yeah. say? And it's chilly. Like, I have to bring Franco out with a blanket. I have to, like, put a little sweater on because it is cold. But the fact that in Arizona, you go out at 3 a.m. and it's 100 degrees, like, that is bonkers. Yeah. That doesn't even sound fun. 
no. at all whatsoever. Because you know how like um you go to a vibe, right? And then it's like yeah. super hot, and then you come out and it's like super chilly, yeah. and it's like oh what a vibe because you're sweating. But like in Arizona, you oh, get out of the vibe and then you go into I'm hell. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking. If crazy. anything, adentro del baile is probably <laughs> cooler because they got AC yeah. or something. But yeah. yeah. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful city, and I feel like or a beautiful state, and I, 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 I mean. I wouldn't mind living there if I didn't have a baby, I think. Or dogs. Or dogs. Oh, yeah. I would never or take like Corazon Chai. Or, like, dogs. Maybe if I had, like, a, like a Doberman, maybe. That Even have then, a lot of... like, pobrecitos perros. Yeah. I mean, not really, because our dogs are inside dogs, so they don't. They yeah. only go outside to pee and poop. But you, you see when they're out there, like, in the middle of the day, they literally just go pee and they come it. right back. Mm-hmm. Because it is freaking hot. But we're excited, guys. So, basically, this is our plan for this weekend. Nobody really knows. You guys are the first ones, of course. You guys are, like, our our close-knit family. But on Friday... So, today today at, like, 5 p.m., we head out to Burbank Airport. Airport. Is that where we're flying in? We've never flown into Burbank. But we're flying into Burbank. Gabby and Gabe are picking us up. We're going to a hotel. We're staying for like two days in California. Should we tell them what we're going for? Yeah. What are we going for? We are going for Wendy's baby shower. Yay. I'm so excited. We just got her presents today. And I just, I don't know. I love baby showers. But so we're going for Wendy's baby shower. It's on Saturday. And then Sunday, um, I think we have a couple business things to do out yeah. there. And then Sunday night, we are road tripping back to Arizona with the Gabbies. And we're going to be there hanging out with them for like two days. Two days three, and a half. Two days and a half. And then we will be back in Colorado. And we have some work to do here. That's why we couldn't stay as long in Arizona because we have some pending meetings here in Colorado. So we have to come back yeah. and get some stuff done but we're so excited but i'm also excited because i was thinking when we went for gabby's wedding in october it was not that hot like it was in the 60s i remember Mm -hmm. it was amazing so i'm thinking since franco's gonna be older and like october is a vibe i think we should go back and like stay there for a longer time because it'll be easier with franco being older it's not gonna be as hot and we can spend time with the gabby's over there in arizona because ya nos toca nosotros for sure Mm -hmm. yep so yeah we really wish we could we if it were up to us we would stay for a whole week yeah. but we got like meetings that like we you can can't just not like move. postpone yeah. especially if it's like finance related you know mm-hmm. what i mean so we got that and we got other like business ventures we're trying to start so the more we push that the more we lose motivation and hype for it so yeah that's the only reasoning but of course our friends know and understand but yeah just want to let you guys know too porque lo luego Son chismosillos, se hacen los chismes, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, we have some serious matter to talk about, and we didn't want to talk about this because we didn't bring want to bring light to it because it is something sad, and it's something sad that has happened recently, yeah. and I don't know, we're not ready to talk about it, but... I don't know. Do you want to say it? Babe? I think we should. We just kind of, we just kind of want to put the comments to rest, you know, yeah. because it's annoying to see them all the time. But do you want to tell them, babe? You take the lead in this guys. Talk. So yes, we don't vlog with my parents anymore, or at all. We've never have, and that's because. Tell them, babe. You tell. No, you tell them. No, you tell. No, them. no they're your be- parents. It comes better for no, me. No, you tell them, babe. Guys, so recently. How do I say this? Like, without you guys taking it out of context, like, now nah, you say it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Guys, guys, nothing. you guys, oh my God. And it's just, we Did really, have we didn't want to talk about it because it's like, what are we going to say? Yeah. You know? But, um, yeah, it's just the comments are so funny. It's not even just about John, like Jonathan's family. They're like, oh, Jonathan's family isn't in the vlogs anymore. But literally, they'll be like, why isn't this person in the vlog anymore? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that they're like, you guys just go and like make up crazy stories in the comments. And we <laughs> literally laugh at them. We're like, damn, like you guys have a huge imag- imagination. Yeah. So props to you for the imagination. But I know a lot of you guys are probably not trying to be chismosos you guys are just genuinely curious why we don't vlog with them Even anymore those, i find it funny when people wear them like that i'm not trying to start any drama but i'm genuinely concerned <laughs> why are you like you are not genuinely concerned no like, I you, know like, you just want to choose me yeah know? i know you want us to be like we're gonna fight and we're not talking to them no yeah. more but really guys 
I don't know. I mean, I guess we never really talked about Jonathan's family like in depth because yeah. obviously it's none of no one's business. But they're very busy people. Like they're re- very extremely busy, busy people. And very shy people. Yes. The two most things that is just hard to be around vloggers with especially yes. us and when we do get to see them we're not gonna be like hey how are you yeah, literally way, you know if we're always like more focused on them getting quality time with franco mm-hmm. so yeah we're not just gonna put a. Uh, and plus you also have to know that his brothers are like my my sisters are like preteens. they don't want to be on the vlog anymore no. they don't want to be filmed taking pictures of nothing like that so w- we just try to like do quality time when they're here the other day gabe was asking me like yo like your mom she's always like so busy like what does she do and i was like where do i start my mom's (laughs) a therapist she does like um not only she's super involved in the church guys but she's like she organizes events for women for women mental health for women with god so she literally in the past what babe six months she's had like three conventions of her own with a thousand plus women yes she's flown to Texas, I believe, two and or California, three times, and California, and Oregon, and Washington, and Oregon, uh-huh. a few times this year alone by herself. It's barely half of the year. <laughs> she does, for all those conventions, she releases her own merch, her own clothing, her own pulseritas and whatnot. She has to prepare sermones, which is like speeches, in these conventions. She has to get the salones, pay the deposit, do all that. On top of that, guys, she just got her real estate license. So she's been selling houses left and right. On top of that, she manages and does like the accounting portion for my dad's trucking company. And on top of that, they were just in Mexico for a month. Yeah. <laughs> so. And on top of that, she's a mother of five. Yes, yes I've moved out, but she's still worries about me and whatnot and lastly she's a wife that still has to cook on top of all of this guys yes. so when you say why doesn't the baby spend or why doesn't jonathan's mom pick up franco and take care of him it's like guys on she top would, of everything she does yeah my mom would honestly she yes, would she cancel would. everything in a day to take care of franco but mm-hmm. like she's still out there getting the bread guys and like helping people helping women find god uh, mental health domestic violence You know, with all that, so, like, she's really busy, guys. And that's, you know, I'm sure everyone's mom is busy, but my mom's just, like, a little superhero, so she's Yeah, Jonathan's mom has, like, 3,000 jobs, and she does it all. Literally, they were just in Mexico for a month. She flew in for, like, Mm -hmm. 24 hours to get a whole bunch of business things done just to fly back out. And then she was still going to stay longer, but she has so much going on here. So it's like, yes, when we get to see them, we're not going to try to get a video out of it. You know, we're going to be like, you know what? Franco needs quality time with his grandparents, and we spend quality time with Jonathan's brothers and try to, like, just catch up because, yes, they are always up to something, guys. So, yeah, that's why you don't see them in the vlogs. And I think when you guys did see them, it was because last year we were very blessed that things were a little bit slower. In the, and they were lived with us. And they lived with us for yeah. like half of the year. So it was easier t- for us to see each other. And before that, they also lived in town. In so town, for yes. the last for last year, for the last half of the year, they didn't live near us. So it was a, a little bit harder to see each other. But like when we would see each other, we still wouldn't really vlog. So it's just crazy because we don't shove the camera in people's faces guys we don't show blanca's dad every day because he's still shy you know so just like we don't show my dad because my dad's super shy of camera thing related so you know so yeah that's the tea guys unfortunately i know you probably (laughs) wanted more you wanted why we don't hang out with i know you guys wanted us to come come with some tea but there's no tea yeah we're literally gonna go over right now because since we do leave tomorrow to arizona they're not gonna see franco for you know, a few days, almost a week. So we want them to see him before we leave. Yep. Uh, because Franco's in that very delicate stage where if he doesn't see someone every day, he's not going to remember them. Yeah, like, ya empezó a desconocer because he's getting older and memorizing people's faces. So right mm. now, it's the prime time to see the people that are actually going to be in his life for the long run. So we just got to... I feel like we have so much to do with Franco and you don't understand until you start living through it. And you're like, oh, crap, like, we want him to love every single person that we love, you know, yeah. so that he's comfortable. Cuando lo agarran o si lo quieren, like, jugar con él, so he's not shy around them and stuff. So, yeah. Like, this is our job, guys. It is not our family's job. So, if you're watching our channel, you're going to see us most of the yeah. time. You're not going to always see our families and our, you know, loved ones. So, 
That's the tea, sis. Sorry if we disappointed you a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because <laughs> in the end of the day, we all have a loving relationship, and I'm trying. we're trying to maintain it as best as possible, you know? Yeah. Because it's, according to your guys' comments and your stories that we get, it's not a super common thing for everyone to have loving suegros from both sides, you know? Yeah. It's always like one family que la caga más than the other, but honestly, I think our families are the perfect mixture. Like, I feel like if they both were not busy as much then it would be more harder to, like, give attention to, to one. To both and of a, them. But yeah. then my parents are so busy that the attention they do get from Franco, it's, they cherish it. They really yeah. do. So then I feel like that's even more special to us, you know? Yeah. So we, I mean, Franco, we're trying to give Franco a good, healthy relationship with both of our families. But in this case, it just so happens that my family has a slower paced lifestyle and your family is freaking crazy vibes over there yeah. so and i didn't even mention like that's half of it guys like yeah you guys don't know taking my brothers to sports, sports yeah. there's taking my sister you know to her things there's taaking buy them all clothes and and stuff and you know all the stuff you have to do as a mom yeah. which is a whole nother job in itself mm -hmm. you know yeah so yeah but Besides that, guys. All right, guys. And since we're spilling tea, another one that you guys cannot <laughs> let go of. And it's one of those, ¿Cómo se dice el dicho amor? Lo que no se ve, no se pregunta. Uh -huh. Lo que se ve, no se pregunta. And it's funny because literally every single comment, well, not every comment, but most of the comments in the last podcast were like, well, why, why didn't you do this? Or like it was this, yeah. this question. Why did you take the Gabby's podcast down? And yeah. it's because we're fighting with them. Ah. Yeah, literally. We do not like them. That's why we're going to go fly all the way to them next week and catch these hands. Yeah, we're going to catch Especially Cookie. Hands. <laughs> cookie, we got it out for you. Um, but yeah, we did a private that podcast, even though it was pretty funny. Like, yeah, it I was think super funny, guys. We're and going to fault. refilm it, I think, <laughs> for sure, because it was so funny. But we did take it down because it, within the first hour, you know what's funny? It's so true. Like, people say they hate you. But they're the first people to watch your shit. Yeah. You know, the haters. So, um, it was, I'm pretty sure it's none of you guys that are super nice and loving in the comments, but everyone just started coming for us. Like, yeah. And, and guys, trust me, because the podcast is my baby, I know I'm pretty familiar with the commenters on the podcast. Yes. And the commenters on that specific podcast, Como Isa La Blanca, I had never seen before. So, it's true when the haters do watch your shit because on this specific one, I feel like the people that support us and love us, como que todos están dormidillos, yeah. or their comments hadn't Or they were just yet. watching the podcast. Like, yeah. they had not even started commenting, mm -hmm. obviously. And then all of them were, like, these people that I hadn't recognized before. And trust me, after two years and not having that many subscribers, you kind of do get familiar with people's yeah. names and, and profile pictures. And I was like, wait, these guys are com are coming out of nowhere. Yeah, they were bots. Yeah. Um, But basically, this is why we took it down. So, you guys know, it was the last day it was literally a couple hours before gabby and gabe mm -hmm. went home and if you guys saw gabby's vlogs and the vlogs that we just uploaded gabby andaba con todo every single day that she was here she was here grinding her ass off and so she was completely fatigued she was like burnt out and then me on the other hand i was having some horrible days because you know sometimes you have good days sometimes you have bad days and it just so happened that i was not feeling myself and i was also like trying to como se dice i was trying to make gabby's life easier in a way so i was tr whatever she needed i was there to do it even though i was like also not having like the best days because you know with the baby nunca se sabe sometimes you, you let sleep good. you let go of yourself so that the baby can be good so yeah the sleep schedule was off obviously he was like volado vibes and you know there was just so many things going on so gabby was fatigued i was fatigued and it wasn't at each other because we were like we loved them right so we you were, were actually even part of that upset came from you always get upset set the day they leave yeah i do when they're about to leave i'm always like can we just extend your trip like just stay here i'll literally pay for your ticket because i love having them here you know so i felt like i just want to spend more time with them and then um we also love podcasting with them because they're so funny and the podcast was funny but obviously a lot of people didn't like they just started like picking us apart and for us we don't care like the comments were mean yeah. about us whatever leave them i don't care but the fact that you guys started coming to our friends and like coming at our friendship we're like girl take this shit down right yeah. now 
Yeah, because one thing is like saying, oh, Blanca looks like she's in a bad mood. Blanca looks like this. Jonathan looks fat. Jonathan looks like this. <laughs> Whatever. We'll we'll leave those. Like, you know? I don't care. But as yeah. soon as you start to say mean things about our friends, like, well, it's because the Gabby look looked like estaba fastidiada con la Blanca. Or la Blanca was upset because Gabby said this. And it's like, no, you don't mess with other people, no. you know, because it's our channel. So they can't really defend themselves yeah. unless they just comment, but they don't have time for that. Yeah. So it's like, no, like, I'm sorry. And I know it's one of those things like in a classroom with one kid fucks it up for everyone else because I know a lot of you guys wanted to listen to that podcast and trust me, it was so freaking funny. I know. My messages were like, girl, what the hell? I was laughing in the middle of the podcast and then it just disappeared. <laughs> I was like, I, like, I'm so sorry, but it just it had to. It had to be taken down because there were too many bots, como Lisa Gabe yeah. and Jonathan. And they were just the fact that like, let me just put it this way if we are in a fight with our friends why would we upload a video why would we sit down yeah. and film a video it's not like you know it's just common sense so people were like oh it's because they're fighting it's because they're this and that and i was like i don't like i'm not and even not gonna everyone was mean babe i feel like we gotta like say like i'd say like a lot of you guys were I get that there's some genuine concern. And those comments we were not mad about or anything. No. Some of them were genuinely like, Blanca, I noticed that you look a little bit different. I hope everything's okay. Blah, blah, blah. Like, we get those and you yeah. get those and we understand those. This is for the people that started coming for our friends or started making rumors up. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't just see a video let your little imagination fly and then post it like that has no sense you know mm -hmm. i think things too i think things about other drama but i'm not over here commenting it like yeah why if i don't have hard evidence you know? exactly like you guys don't know what happens behind cameras and we just like we've always said our channels are our home and if we don't, if we're going to get mean comments, we're not going to let that slide. You mm. know, like, una cosa es borrarlos y todo, but I didn't want people, like, to keep insinuating. And the longer a podcast is up for, the longer it gives, like, people to come back to it and, like, start typing. And yeah. the other thing that you guys don't understand is that one mean comment can give other people the confidence to comment yeah. under that comment. And then they just all start, like... It's like yeah. a domino effect. Because basically. if you're thinking something, you're most likely to comment if you already see someone else thought it. Exactly. It. So uh, sometimes we'll get hate comments and it's like, okay, one or two, delete, keep the video up. Mm -hmm. But this video would have literally had zero comments if I deleted every single one of the bad ones because yeah. they were all about Blanca and how she was off, but then how it related to the Gabby. So we're like, nah, it's just, it's yeah. pointless to keep this up. And it sucks, guys. Like, yeah. I, I stayed up till midnight editing that and making the thumbnail and waiting for it to export because now that we moved over here, unfortunately, in this town, the Wi-Fi we had doesn't exist here. We can't get it. So our videos don't upload in five minutes anymore. They upload in 30. So I was up till almost one in the morning editing yeah. that, waiting for it to export because sometimes it exports, I mean, uploads, but then it'll have like an error. So then yeah. otra vez <laughs> upload another 30 minutes just there waiting on the couch at midnight, you know? So it's like, trust me, I didn't want to take it down, but. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. And I just want to say, if you are a hater watching this, like, please get out of your head <laughs> but because i hate that people i mean our friendship is public and a lot of people are like oh we get a lot of comments saying like you can tell this is such a genuine friendship and like the gabby's are one of the closest friends yeah. like near and dear to our hearts so as soon as you start coming for them or for our friendship with them you're done like yeah. we're not gonna allow those stupid ass comments there because we know what we have and we don't want anyone to like just be out there with their imagination saying stupid ass rumors and we don't want to keep that up on the internet so since the podcast was only up for like 45 minutes we're like take that shit down girl we can just redo this again and yeah. i'll be in a better mood i guess but yeah yeah i guess not. blanca doesn't ha isn't allowed to have bad i guess days i'm not off, allowed to have especially bad with days. the five month old at the time especially with the new house especially after dropping five thousand dollars on furniture like I guess yeah. you don't have days off, babe. I guess I just you can't be ever jolly be. Every freaking I can't have a low energy day because sometimes, girl, my energy is slow and, you know, it's whatever. It sucks that that podcast went two ways because it was freaking hilarious. Yeah. But 
Don't you worry. Oh my god, guys, we talked about like uh, the Gabe cringiest. sending nudes at like 14 years old and how his nudes are out there for a little, you know, him little teenager. They're not him. out there because the screenshot. <laughs> oh yeah, um, there there was no screenshot on Snapchat back yeah, then. Yeah, so guess, you something couldn't like screenshot that. the nudes. Um, no, but we, that was funny. That was freaking funny. But I for all maybe of you, make clips out of it. No, but for like all of you guys that do deserve our podcast, we I think we're gonna refilm it with them yeah because it's definitely. so funny but oh and we we showed videos of gabby when she used to like sing songs to gabe <laughs> on facebook yeah uh, and stuff like that super cringy stuff guys and i wish it was still up pero como dicen camarón que se duerme la corriente se lo lleva is that how it goes <laughs> well yes but camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente oh, anyways. so it can flow better <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys um, our son is probably hungry right now. He's with Gma. We just got home from the mall from shopping for our clothes for the trip. So he's going to be super hungry anytime soon. And we still got to drive back. So yeah, so we're going to let you guys go on this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have an amazing Friday. And oh, if you guys want a motivation from me, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. Thanks. That's motivation, babe. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's good. That's advice, I guess. Yeah. Do you have motivation? Realize. So Ew. you have to realize. Uh, stop. That real eyes. Ew, stop. <laughs> that that's some Tumblr quote. Real eyes. <laughs> realize, realize, real lies. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, what else was I going to say? Anyways, guys, we love you. We love you so much. Uh, let's do a little giveaway, yeah? Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Because if you made it this far, you're a freaking real one. Yep. So $50 to whoever comments. Mm, give them something right now. Something like a phrase. Oh, my God. Can, if, $50 to... Just comment what the stupid cringy quote we just said. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no, then no. people are on, on, on in the comments are gonna be like, if they didn't watch the whole podcast, they're gonna be like, what the <laughs> hell are they talking about? Okay, real lies. No, you say it good. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. <laughs> Ooh. I feel much. Me at the man. poetry slam. <laughs> 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 All um, right, guys, comment that down below. We will choose a fifty dollar winner. We will announce it in next week's podcast. Hopefully, we get you Starbucks for like three days because <laughs> inflation, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching we love you and we'll see you next time later